And then this is one, a pocket knife which is completely gummed up, but I just kept it because it's got this pearl handle and a nice little motif. It's an old butter knife, spoon, forks. Uh, here are my coins. These are my uh, oldest coins. There must be nothing on them. This one's about the same size as a, a penny, like a Victorian penny, but much thinner and it's bent and it's got nothing on it. So. I don't know, is it a coin from the 17, 1600s? I'm not sure. But that's my oldest coin. And then, going on to the Victorian, 1870. Young head, if you can just, just about see that. 1888. Young head. Eighteen eighty nine, Young Head, eighteen ninety two. You see Britannia there, Young Head, all very worn. Obviously, these were in circulation until long time after they were minted. Uh, I'm not sure what day that is. Oh, it's 1900. This one's 1900. I can't see that. You can see there. There's a widow head. And then, this is the only coin I've got from Edward VII. 1909. It's really nice. It's really smooth. It's got a really nice feel to it. It's funny how the different qualities of uh, copper, different, some are rough and it depends on, on where, where they've been in the soil, etc. But that's a really nice coin. Next one is George V. We've got two from 1919. See, so he's facing the other way to uh, Edward VII. 1928, 1929, Hapney, 1934, Penny, and that's the last ones of George V, and then George VI, 1938, he was the king during World War II, it's quite a nice head there. 1941 during the war. This one's knackered. This one's 1941. Up to right up until 1952. And these are some other coins uh, from George the Sixth. 1941, no, this is 1937, three pence brass, you know, it's absolutely shot. Uh, 1941, 19, I've got three from 1942 and two from 1943. Can't see his head very well. These don't last very well in the soil. And then um, a two shillings from 1948 and a two shillings from 1940, uh, 1951. These are Cupro nickel and they don't keep very well in the soil either. Although there's a big difference to, between the way this one's kept and this one. This one just looks grey and this one looks sort of orangey. Uh, Queen Elizabeth, uh, pre decimal. That's a 1959 coin, 1963, these are all absolutely knackered, can't even see the faces very well, and then uh, 
1955 Scottish shilling, 1958 English, and 1960 Scottish. Cooper Nickel. And then this is uh, sixpence, which is Cooper Nickel. From 1958, and then onto decimal came in 1971. But these couple of these coins are date before then. Some ten pence pieces, big heavy ones. Uh, five pence, a nice big uh, 1969 50 pence. Really nice um, Britannia on there. Absolutely knackered modern two pence which I could spend if it was any good. Cut in half one pence and then two half pences from 1971. Obviously all the spendable stuff um, I spend so that's why isn't, there's none of it here. And then these are my best finds, these are my silvers. I've got ten silver coins here. Uh, this is my first one. Which is 1922 shilling which is 12 pence. There was uh, 240 pence in the uh, pre-decimal pound. And this is George V. And 1929 sixpence with the oak leaves on the back. And then I've got uh, two 1933 sixpences and one of them's got was used in a medallion, I think. And then a 1933 um, shilling, which is really good condition. And then a 1935. These are all 50% silver um, from, from 1922 to 1946 everything was 50% silver before that they're all um, uh, sterling silver which is 90 something I can't remember. Uh, next one is, is 1939 George VI 1942 sixpence George VI, nice condition. 1946, the last one of the sixpences that was silver. And there's a two shillings from 1946, also the last one. Really nice. If I just compare this to uh, that one. So on the right you've got 50% uh, silver and on the left you've got Cooper Nickel. No contest. Um, so, thanks very much for watching. And um, these are my finds of 2013 and uh, I'll, uh, I'll do another one when I get some more finds. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers. Bye.